cancel. He doesn't have spin dash shield cancel, right? And I'm not saying that Meek Speedy was like one of these one-trick pony kind of players right. where that's all he had to fall back on. This guy knows Sonic very, very well. One of the OG Wi-Fi Sonics, by the way. A brawl? Yes. Seriously? And yes. he didn't play Smash 4? Because Sonic was so good in Smash 4. But let's see what he can do here, man. Green Sonic against Lucina. I mean, Mr. E2, you want to talk about Legacy. He, he started building his in Brawl. So yes. he definitely knows how to fight Sonic. Because that's when that character first came out. And that's when Mr. E first started playing the game very, very seriously. And started, oh, my. Yep, I love that. Yeah. Mr. E, you can, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> really good attempt right there. Dancing Blade. Not quite enough to KO yet. Going for Lucina, man. I mean, we've always seen him on Marth forever, but I think everyone's just kind of opting. Except for Leo that one time, everyone's like, you know what? Lucina's just kind of better. Good reaction there from Mr. E. Avoiding the homing attack. Ooh, the up air one on shield. He's not going to get away with even that. Yeah. Mr. E just cleaning it up. Also, we saw Meek Speedy's first combo. A lot of hits in there, but it only did 24 damage. Yeah. I feel like Sonic's output in this game is just not very good. Not used to, not what we're used to seeing, at least. You know what I'm saying? And as someone, you know, I played a lot of Ryu in Smash 4, so a lot of people are like, he's terrible in this game because he can't do what he did in Smash 4. Yeah, obviously, that's a factor. But it's not oh. the only thing. What an edge guard, though, with the up B. That's going to be it. Mr. E taking that one home very quickly. Wow. He is the master of that backward hit of up B, man. Going to still land that wait, quite wait, a lot. On. Oh, on. we got down here to up tilt? You said he's the master of that, new, that reverse up B? Have you seen Kool Aid play? Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on, yeah, hold on yeah, a second. Yeah, hold Kool on. There's two different masters of that. But I don't Master know, Mr. E's e. e. looking really, really strong right now with it. <laughs> Either way. Just gonna see Mr. E chase down that super F tilt. Jeez. Oh, wow. Absolutely relentless. Mr. E not letting me breathe off the stage. It's gonna be a blindingly fast game one. Also, just gotta point out, I love how the headset sits in his hair. <laughs> uh, shout out to Viram. Who that happens to? Oh, as that's well. right. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to Virum anyway, man. I yeah, shout out to Virum for no reason, but also for how the headset. For no reason at all. I hope, yeah. to, hope to see you soon, brother. I haven't seen him in a while, so love love Virum. But either way, what a what an opener, man. Mr. E, like we said, showing that he definitely has a ton of experience against Sonic in this game. This might be one of the weaker, definitely the one of the weaker versions we've seen of Sonic. Uh, a lot of Sonic mains either talking about how they really love him in this game or they hate him and they're playing Roy now. Like those are your two options, basically. Like, are, <laughs> are you are playing you, Roy right, now? That's, those are your options. You're either still a Sonic main from Smash Four or you're. you're you're a Roy main. That's it. Those are your a lot of Sonics in Smash 4 weirdly co-made Roy. Like, are they having yeah, in the back yeah, Think yeah, about yeah. that. Like, a ton of Sonics were just like, that. yeah, I like Roy, weirdly. But, but Chrom is blue. You just, I know. Well, I I don't know how to do it. I don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. Hey, I'm man. not Sonic main. I can't think like them. Whatever. Either way. Nice. There you go. Big Speedy with a much better opener this time, but just a few slashes of the Falcon, and we're going to see Mr. E's Lucina pull ahead. You saw, Mr. Or you saw Mick Speedy try to uh, kind of use an up air there to continue that combo, and it just didn't work. It, Mr. E was just able to swat him away instead. Very nice job by him, recognizing that you know Sonic's com combo game needs to get cut a little shorter than that. Nice. Oh, that is good that's tech the right there. Speedy. I love that. No, that's he's been doing that for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Every time he's on the edge, that's how he gets back on. <laughs> he does the back air. I was going to tell you before the set even started, I'm like, yo, I bet he's going to do uh, turn around, spin dash the bear. And he did it in the beginning of the game. So good. Uh, game one as well. I mean, back air has got to be one of the, he did it again. <laughs> let's, let's get a counter going. Can we get that on the bottom? You parry there. Good timing for Mr. E. See, it's a lot better than ledge hop fair because you have all that shield stun. Right. It's much safer on block. His back air is just an incredible move. It's, it's got to be one of his best moves still for sure. And it's so strong in this it, game. It's strong and it, it lingers too. It has a little bit of startup, obviously. Not, not a ton, but like. N enough for you to note it. Hold on. Nice Love that. Doesn't jump too soon. Respecting the swing on the way down from Mr. E. Nice. Okay, I like that. Like, you might not be able to just go into shield, but you have options for sure to mix it up out of, out of spin dash. Yeah, so, so you don't have creative. to fully commit to going forward. It's creative. But now you know it's going to be Mr. E's mind, so I'm interested to see what Meek Speedy does next time he has it. Okay, yeah, just go for it. I'll last at the counter, too. Yep, exactly. You saw the counter. It was a little different, but... Mr. E would force into the early up B, but Meek Speedy forced into the down air, unable to punish, and there we go. Forward air just going to take him out. Mm -hmm. Now he's in a position where he needs to get the stock, and that's one of the things that Sonic has always struggled with. His raw kill power, aside from back air and forward smash, yeah. not too strong. Okay, looking for some offstage play, though. Sonic is good at that still. The back air is going to clean it up. Coast to coast, going from east to west right there. Very nice job by Mick Speedy, doing a lot better already in this game, too. Taking the stock. Looked like a hard thing to do in game one for him, for sure. Now that Sonic can't cancel Spin Dash with Shield, <gasps> that the counter goes way up in value against yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. You could just and like if he he either needs to give up and not do it, and then he won't. It's a it's a zero zero gain situation for both players. Zero loss too. So it's just like all right, you might as well do it. Mister E looking for a lot of these downers. He's gonna punish a ton for it. Yeah, he just wants to be aggressive on his way down. Make sure Sonic can't get away with stuff for free. <laughs> he's he's playing like he three stock game one. You know what I'm saying? Like that that's how Mister E's playing. Yeah. Like I'm gonna keep doing this option. You know, if it doesn't work, then I'm I'm gonna go back to my old game plan. What a 
walk up forward tilt? That was really, really nice. Or, or it was like the, the boosted, super boosted, boosted, boosted yeah. forward tilt. Yeah, that's right. No, the official terminology is super F tilt. I, you know, Tweet called it boosted, so I'm going to no, call no, it no. that. No, no, It's the super F tilt. All right, fine. Uh, shout out to my man, Javi, from Tallahassee, who also called it that. We, did, we both didn't know, and okay. then we had a conversation about it. So that's the official terminology now. Okay, forward air, very nice stuff. Mick Speedy keeping on the pressure here off stage. What a counter, too, though. He, he knew it. Like, Sonic, that if he was going to swing, that's where he was going to do it, basically. Yeah, up tilt. Yeah, such a good move, man. Swats your opponent out of the air. Checks full hops. Definitely checks short hops. It's just a great substitute for dash attack because Lucinus is terrible. Yeah, you know that Mr. E really, really wants to pop this shield right now. Unable to find it, though. Meek Speedy trying to fight his way up the ledge. Gets the back air, though, all the way to the side. Not enough power, though. That's the downside of using that option, of course, is that from side to side, it's not going to work out. 4 KOing even at, like, 150% is Lucina. Here we go, though. Mr. E on the hunt now. Trying to find something. Meek Speedy getting super crazy. Mixing it up so much off the ledge. Now Mr. E getting to this territory uh, where uh, I think up throw will still kill Sonic. In, in with no game. rage? Yeah, I mean back throw for sure would. Okay. Oh, sorry. I thought you were talking about Lucina. But no, 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 no. Uh, Lucina's up throw, though. Oh, geez. That's, that's a nerf and a half yeah, right there. Here we go. Nice. Good trade right there. Mr. E. Trying to find something here. Meek Speedy playing really, really well. He's got the lead. I mean, Sonic can still play with the lead really well. And that's that down air that Mr. E's been looking for. He finally connects it there. Can't find the punish on the homing attack, but he does catch him off the ledge. Not a bad trade for Meek Speedy, though. Like, I'm feeling pretty OK about that if I'm him right now. You'll take the damage for sure. You got the lead still. Now, who's going to break the ice here? All right, Mr. E gets in with the forward air, tries to swing another. Doesn't pan out, but he is going to keep countering those spin dashes. Counter, like you said, Max, is such a good option now that you can't just shield and stop spin dash for sure. What do you have to read is basically, it looks like Meek Speedy's option either go with spin dash or do the do the hop right into the down air and stop it. But look at these homing attacks have been connecting a lot better in this game. He gets the spike and the up air. Yeah, nice. such a good launcher. I like the combo option right there because he puts Sonic above him, which is really good. Oh. Mr. E blasting him to the corner there. Back air, that took it out. You know what? what? I think Tell me Meek more. actually put his own body into the blast on by start, going like, for spinning? forward air. No, oh, he, he did forward, forward air. air. Okay. And since Sonic turns from being vertical Extends to horizontal to do that, it might extend his feet into the blast zone.